Hello, my beautiful diamonds. You know, there's a lot of men out here giving advice to women regarding relationships. And, you know, I was saying to myself, I hope my beautiful diamonds are not falling for everything that they hear these men say. Now, these men, they're full aware of how women are supposed to be treated. Now, just because they know you're supposed to be treated a certain way, that don't mean that that's what they're really going to do. That's not really their intentions. And it's just so refreshing to know that all women are not falling for this. You can't fall for everything you hear these men say. Let me share this clip with you. Here we go. Hey, what's up, y'all? You know what I'm really sick of? I'm really sick of these men on these podcasts, these videos, these so-called love relationship guru men talking to women about other men. Nine times out of ten, the men that are out here creating videos and doing these podcasts to, to so-called warn us ladies about men and what we need to look for, they ten times worse than the men that they talking about. Yep. They are real-life scumbags off this app. This is just another way to pimp women. If you notice, the majority of them, they're either selling a book or they need you to subscribe or whatever it is, they're using their platform to, to reach women, to talk to women, to be able to finesse them out of some kind of way. It's still a form of pimping to me because if you out here telling women what they need to be looking out for and what they should be doing and then, you know, subscribe to this, buy this, blah, 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 blah. But then in your reality off this app, you're a scumbag. You're 10 times worse than the man you're talking about. You're a hypocrite. Majority of these men, ladies, that's telling women what we should be looking out for or telling us about men, this is just another form of pimping. This is another way for them to make money off of us. I refuse to listen to them. Case in point, Count Dracula, a.k.a. Kevin Samuels. He made a lot of money and gained a lot of influence by tearing women down. Did that, Was that man not twice divorced? Couldn't get a passport because he owed back child support. And he passed away on top of the type of woman that he used to talk about. <laughs> that lady was a, a middle-aged woman. She wasn't no size two. Okay, but he talked about us. He talked about us being, you know, heavyset women, calling them big shirts. He was a hypocrite. His real life did not coincide with what he talked about, but he made money off of it. And what's the other one? The 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 liking from off the underworld, aka Derek Jackson. That if he wasn't no fraud, he was sponsored by Potter House or something, right? T D Jakes uh sponsored that man. He sold all types of books and made all types of money and turned out he was a, a hypocrite. He was anything but what he preached about or what he talked about. And don't sit up, and then you, and I'm gonna tell you something, you can learn a lot about a man by how he allows his woman to be, uh, seen. That lady, he had that lady on that, on that video looking like she was the maid. Okay? While he all had his nice little outfit on, she had a, a bonnet on or whatever she did, he wanted her to look homely like that because that's how he had her. He was, uh, controlling her mentally. And I know that she supposedly had left and all oh, she got this. She she was making appearances because she got a book out now. I wouldn't be surprised if he not getting a piece of that. I wouldn't be surprised if that was a whole gimmick and he's using her and manipulating her to be able to get money off of her because he kind of lost his influence. Stop allowing these men. I'm going to tell you something, fellas. If you out here trying to preach and give women advice, you know what you really need to do? You need to be talking to these other men. Stop talking to us. If you if you trying to help us women, if you really want to help us women, start talking to these men and telling them and teaching them how to be better men. Give them, show them a way that they can create financial stability so they can better care for their women and their children. That's how you're going to help us. You sitting around on a podcast behind a mic telling us what we need to look out for. That, that is not helping us. Teach these men, get these men financial literacy. Teach them how to better manage their money so they can better take care of their woman and their kids. I don't need you to tell me if a man isn't calling you, if, if a man isn't buying you flowers. I don't need to. The only men that I respect that have a podcast, that get on here to have a, a large platform is Earn Your Leisure. Because at least they're trying to show you different ways to create a, 
a financial legacy. They're trying to show you alternative ways to make money, you know, to better care for your family. That's what men need to be doing. Men don't need to talk to us women. They need to talk to other men and, and show them a way that they can, can create financial literacy so they can t better take care of their women and their children. I don't need none of you pimp-ass, fake-ass, podcast, relationship, so-called experts telling me nothing. Because if you know, if you notice, men don't listen to women. Men don't listen to women. You can tell your man something. You know, you give him some good advice, he'll just brush it off. But let one of his guys or a male figure tell him almost the same exact thing, he'll believe it and listen to it. Men don't listen to women, even if our advice is right. But anytime a man get on here, we listening to them, we paying money to go see a whole panel of men. I don't want to see y'all. I'm not paying y'all nothing. If you want to help us women, talk to men. Teach men how to be better men, how to create financial uh abundance for them so they can better care for their women and their children that's what's important y'all want to get up here and try to finesse us on some on keep sweat shit you know i'm trying to make it last forever talking all you know that's pimping to me ladies i'm telling you majority of these men that sit up here and give us relationship advice and tell us what we need to be looking for in their reality off this app they 10 times worse than the men the men that they talk about Stop listening to them. Stop giving them any energy. If they want to be, you know, if they want to help us, talk to they, talk to your brothers. Talk to the men. Don't talk to us. She is absolutely right. A lot of these men that give women this relationship advice, they are equivalent to just a pimp. You know, there's very few men that I respect or that I would support, and that is... Uh, Robert R.C. Blake, because he has the wife, the children to back it up, and he has a very solid marriage, and his wife don't look like she's complaining at all. She's a registered nurse. She's smart enough to keep a job. She's no fool, so he know, don't get stupid, because I always have something to fall back on. You know what I mean? And then I like uh, Tony Gaskin, another man who's married, have the children, the wife, I see pictures of them together. She looks very happy. Of course, all of these things can be deceiving. But until I see differently, I, I, I admire these, these men. And then I also like Jeremy Holloway. And that's because Jeremy Holloway, he just don't get up here trying to say what he think women want to hear. He also comes down on women. He checks women. He puts women in their place. Uh, uh, at the same time, putting men in their place. Like she said, these men, they don't need to be really talking to women. They need to be talking to these men out here and trying to educate these men and letting them know, you know, your behavior of not taking care of your children. Nah, dude, that's not a flex. Nah, that's, that's negative. And we're not hanging out with you because, uh-uh. A dude who can't keep a job. The woman's doing the financial heavy lifting in the relationship. Nah, kid, that ain't cute. And that's the part I like about Jeremy Holloway. You know, he seems to be a stand-up guy. I think you all know, if you've seen uh, my videos, Derek Jackson, J-A-X-N. <laughs> I loved that dude. If he had an older version, because I'm not a, a, a cougar, I was like, I would, I don't, I don't even want to get married. But I said, when listening to that dude, I was like, oh my God, I would rethink marriage <laughs> because he has such a gift for gab because everything Derek Jackson says you, that is the way what he's saying is the truth. This is the way women are supposed to be treated, but he doesn't practice what he preach, but everything that man says is on point. So that's the only reason why I listen to him and there are times when I show his video, but I don't subscribe to these people. I don't press no like. I don't empower them. I eat the meat. I throw away the bone. And every time I listen to them, I always listen with a filter. You know, you have to listen with a, a strainer, what to, what to keep and what to just let strain out. But like she said, you know, these men need to focus on educating these men, getting on these men's behind so that they would treat the women better along with their children. 
And she did make another valid point when she says nine times out of 10, these men who are talking about how rotten these men are, they're worse than the men that they're talking about. They're like a hundred times worse. Yeah, there's a uh, another video that I wanted to share with you. I can't seem to find it right now. And I'm, I'm kind of pushed for time. But like she said, you know, a lot of these men, they are saying things that they know women want to hear so that they can get more subscribers, followers, uh, supporters. They have books that they're selling and they are trying to uh, make their fortune off of women. But nine times out of 10, they don't practice what they preach. So that is a form of pimping anytime you're making money off of women. That's a pimp. You know, anytime a woman is doing the financial heavy lifting, she's being pimped. But she uh, made some very, very valid points. I'm kind of pushed for time right now. I got to go. I will uh, find that other video and I will pin it so that you can listen. And, and you know what's making me very happy is that you have a lot of young women who are not falling for a lot of this bullery. You have some women who still fall for it, but you have so many women, honey. They are wide awake. Diamonds, diamonds, diamonds.